Okay, it's time for us to go bananas. I have found that the banana is a very good material to simulate the aorta. We'll be using this to practice our top ends and closure of aortotomies. The thing about the banana is, whereas in previous stitching we've removed the stitch and the suture material itself, when using the banana we're going to keep the thread. This banana will tell you very quickly whether you have entered the tissue at 90 degrees or not. Very simply, if you have entered it at 90 degrees, all you will see at the point of entry is a single black dot. If you take the needle into the tissue at the wrong angle or deliver it clumsily out of the tissue, you'll leave a little skid mark. You'll see this develop. It gives you instant feedback as whether you're doing this properly or not. Okay then, let's go bananas. I think the banana is a fantastic material to simulate an aorta, and the aorta itself is unforgiving to poor rotation of the needle. Let us pretend that's the aortic valve, that's the head end, and I'm going to make a punch hole in the banana. But like an arteriotomy, careful with the blade, insert your punch into the aorta, or into the banana, pull the anvil back so it's touching the inside wall, engage the cutter, ensure that you're 90 degrees, funny that, 90 degrees comes into my thinking again, and effect a punch. You'll see now we actually have a clean hole in our simulated aorta with no overhang. We now have a clean hole in the banana. In the same way, you should have a clean hole in the aorta. And we're going to simulate a top end. Again, focusing on our posture, the angles, and rotation of the needle through the tissue. This is done with your non-dominant hand behind your back. And on this occasion, we're going to keep the thread because it'll give us feedback as our position and angles as we go around the anastomosis. So as I go around this anastomosis, I'm concentrating and making sure I'm 90 degrees, and therefore my needle is radial at all points during the anastomosis. The banana is holding the needle for me to enable me to pick it up again and to continue my rotation and movement around the anastomosis. The thread will give me feedback as to how, how accurate my spacing is, how deep it is to the edge, and am I on the hour, every hour, around this anastomosis. I say 12 sutures, but there are some people who are taught to have eight sutures. The important thing is, is that the suturing has got to be even, the carriage of your needle through the tissue has got to be accurate, and your spacing precise. And there you go. Okay, let's examine this closely, shall we? I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Funny that. Twelve radial sutures. What do I take from this anastomosis? My spacing is good. The entry into the tissue has been accurate as I've got a pinpoint rather than a skid mark appearing on the banana. If I was going to criticize myself, and as we always should do with our stitching, I would say that bite is too fine. The others are pretty reasonable. Overall, a 
I'd probably give myself 10 out of 12 for that. You can do it yourself at home. Thinking of the banana as a whole, there's an opportunity to put another anastomosis there, another there, and another there. Some people might ask, how close can be one top end to another? The answer is, as long as your sutures are not interdigitating, that's fine. The worry is if it's too close, the passage of your needle through the aorta might indeed cut the suture of the adjacent anastomosis.